Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video we will briefly discuss about the application of Bernoulli equation. In the previous video we have discussed the Bernoulli equation in details but in this, in this video we will briefly discuss about uh, application which is known as Torricelli equation in the, uh, in the, for the Bernoulli equation and this is the application of Bernoulli equation. In this uh, we will take a water or a liquid in the container having this shape. This shape is, uh, has uh, two uh, narrow openings. One is known as a narrow opening in this uh, fluid or liquid is moving in this direction which having the velocity v1 and the height of this region is known as h1. In this case, height of this side uh, up till this nozzle is known as h2 and um, fluid is flowing outside this nozzle is known as having the velocity v2 we know or we need to calculate the velocity of this region or v2 or the fluid is flowing outside of this region and the area of this is known as a so first of all we need to write the uh, Bernoulli equation which is p1 plus 1 by 2 rho v1 squared plus rho g h1 is equal to this is expression for region 1 or this region or this nozzle in addition p2 plus 1 by 2 rho v2 squared plus rho g h2 this expression for region 2 or for this region of this nozzle so this nozzle is very very having a small very small narrow opening it means that if fluid is flow is moving its velocity is very very zero very very uh, slow or very very low so th this velocity or v1 is nearly equal to zero or it means that it seems it is not moving the fluid is not moving in this region so velocity of that region is zero in this case we can find out the value of total or value of total velocity of this nozzle after having expression of this and the, we will consider that the pressure P1 in this region and the pressure P2 in this region is same if this, ex, this condition P1 is equal to P2 holds we can find out the velocity at that region so in order to calculate the velocity of that region we will consider these two expression or two these two consideration in this Bernoulli equation very famous Bernoulli equation and find out that final expression so the final expression with this in considering the initial condition and we will put here so P1 can be replaced by P for our easiness and P2 will also be replaced by P because these two are equal. P1 is equal to P plus 1 by 2 rho V1 is 0. So this whole term will be 0. Plus this term will be rho G H1 plus sorry is equal to this is equal to P2 will be replaced by P plus 1 by 2 rho v2 square because we need to calculate the value of v2 plus rho g h2 rho g h2 so this value of p and this value of p can be cancelled out because these are two uh, uh, across these two uh, equations so value of sine of equal so we can cal we can cancel these two p or these two similar values so the final term will be rho g h1 plus is equal to 1 by 2 rho v2 square plus rho g h2 so from these two expression the value of density or rho is constant here or it is it can be taken as common from this expression and the here it is also a value of rho or density so we need to calculate the value of velocity v2 in that region so we need to simplify this expression so we can uh, take common of value of rho g h1 is equal to rho taken as common the final or remaining term will be 1 by 2 
v2 square plus g h2 here so this row can be cancelled out in this expression and the final term g h1 is equal to 1 by 2 v2 square plus g h2 so the our purpose in this uh, equation or this expression is that we need to calculate the value of v2 so this g h2 term or this expression can be removed or shifted to the other side of the equation it will be g h1 minus g h2 is equal to 1 by 2 v2 square so here g is common and because this g is present in this expression also this g is present in this expression we can take common g into h1 minus h2 is equal to 1 by 2 v2 square so our purpose is to calculate the value of v2 not half v2 we can remove or shift it this 2 to the other side it will be multiplied it will be 2g into h1 minus h2 is equal to v2 square so our goal is to find out the value of v2 not v2 square we need to finish this square in order to do this we will take square root on both sides taking square root it will become 2 in 2g h1 minus h2 taking square root is equal to v2 square square root so this square will be cancelled out by the square root the value of v2 or final velocity final term will be v2 is equal to 2g h1 minus h2 into square root so the Torricelli equation is uh, calculated or proved from the final equation of the Bernoulli theorem very famous so v2 this is velocity not a volume v2 is equal to 2g h1 minus h2 so it means that the velocity of the that flux or that region is the difference of the height of these two uh, nozzles one nozzle or one height is this and other nozzle or other height is this so this is a difference h1 minus h2 this is the difference we need to consider the difference of h1 minus h2 multiply by the gravitational constant which is known as g and the final term of the velocity of that region is v2 this is known as a uh, very famous Torricelli equation or the application of the Bernoulli theorem up till now we have finished about the uh, applic one application of the Bernoulli theorem and uh, we will finish here if you like our video you can subscribe our channel for more videos and I have uploaded all the video in my channel in addition I have put all the links in the description box if you like or if you have any question you can come up in the comment box or you can personally contact us at my email address given below so see you soon in the next video bye bye